Blake, United Spirits. Uh, the horse will ride this uh, this Wednesday night. A horse you know really well, and um, he's uh, he's looking as if he's ready to, to win another one on the all weather. Yes, definitely. He's um, his horse has been running well since he's um, joined uh, Crusoe's care. Arguably, should have won a race by now. I feel. Um, hopefully, it'll be tomorrow night. He's drawn a, a much better barrier and um, looks it looks a race that he should be very competitive in. I guess given the nature of the race as well, obviously it's it's an open looking sort of contest. He's a horse with plenty of experience and, and plenty of form on the surface, so we'll always stand him in, in, in good stead. Yeah, sure. Look, it's a, it seems a, just a, a standard class four all weather track race, and like I said, the, the races in his past couple of runs haven't haven't really gone to plan that well, and and barriers have kind of gone against him. Where tomorrow tomorrow night he's drawn a perfect barrier. I think he'll be able to take up a bit more of a forward position and, and get the race run to, to suit us and hopefully that'll be able to give him his chance to get another win on the board. I guess a couple of horses in the race, Amazing Teens and the likes and Royal Campbell, they're two horses that do like to go forward so it should give you a nice lead into the race. Well it should and um, I think that just should, should just set him up to get an opportunity like like I said the last couple of runs he's gone gone back and haven't, haven't had the race run to suit so from barrier three it, it should be able to hopefully make the difference. Vincent, so we joy is a horse that you're going to ride on on Wednesday night, and you both managed to get the job done last time. Yeah, um, you know, glad to be on him, and uh, won quite well. You know, obviously a draw help as well, uh, and we got good draw again this time, and and hopefully repeat that. Uh, you know, I galloped him, and he still felt good. His gallop did look good, actually. I went back and had a look at it. I mean, he's gone up a fair bit in the weights as well, but do you just think that maybe in a race that, that looks winnable, he can he can cope with the rise in weight? Yeah, I think so. You know, with, with a good draw, I think he can do it. On that win last time, he looked to go away again at the finish. I mean, it was it was a pretty tough win in the end. Yeah, he, you know, he, he never really stopped. Uh, he actually kept going after the winning post. Definitely very fit. With a good draw again, hopefully he can produce that again. Uh, a line on, on Golden 60, obviously plenty of, uh, of news surrounding him after his big win in the Champions Mile with the, with the Japan trip looking yeah. uh, a distinct possibility. How, how is he? Yeah, he is well. Uh, pull up very well. Uh, we're all happy with that. But uh, in terms of if we're going, uh, I think you have to ask Mr. Loy, uh, not the one to decide. So. Joe, like that, is a horse very much uh, in form and uh, Wednesday night he, uh, he'll he line up in one of the latter races and looks to be a decent chance for you. Yeah, he's been in great form, hasn't he? He's, he wants to start to go and he ran a good place in last time. So uh, I'm just hoping that he's able to produce his great form once again. He's got a good record for you, Joe, and he really is a horse that just seems to have found his form again, having started his career off so brightly. Yeah, apparently Frankie, um, after giving him a break, brought him back with, in great form and uh, I've been just lucky to be on, on board most of the time that he performed. So I was on top of him last time, but uh, I'm very proud and happy to be back on him. He's met Lightning Bolt a couple of times and he, I suppose when you look at it, he's, he's got the beating of him, hasn't he? So that obviously sort of confirms that form with, with that horse. Yeah. He looks to be one of your biggest dangers. Yes, no doubt about it. Um, uh, two starts ago, they finished, they crossed the line very close to each other, so that means uh, that isn't really much between them. They're both decent horses. They both uh, should be the favourites of the race. Um, of course, the gate is not in our favour this time, but uh, he's the kind of horse that does have a lot of gate speed, so I, I, I assume that I'm going to be able to put him up there where I want to be. And um, I'm not going to be surprised if he wins again. Just on this morning, Chelsea, very quiet morning here at the trials, but you, you did trial a uh, little running glory. He's been a, a wonderful uh, servant to his connections this season. How did, how did he trial? Uh, he's... He trials great, very easy job for him in such a slow run trial, you know. Um, he's going to go up in class now. It's going to be a bit tougher, but I, I guess being such a light frame kind of a horse, he's, he's going to appreciate the light weight on his back. So that is some, something in his favor and something against him, but uh, I'm quite happy the way how he's done uh, up until now. And uh, I'd be very surprised if he goes up and do not perform up, up in great. And just finally, Joe, just reflecting on the weekend, obviously a good, good, uh, good weekend. Uh, nice to, to see Senor Toba back in the winner's circle, and obviously Saint Quinn looks a horse with a big future. Yeah, Senor Toba seems a nice horse with a bright future in Hong Kong. The way how he did on the weekend, 
didn't didn't really have things going on his favor. Uh, he got stuck in there. Uh, I would love to have gone a little bit early on him. He would have then won a bit more impressively. But he's done what he needed to do, which is win. And then I'm I'm looking forward to what his his next.